Hey ladies, so over the co course of November, I have been shopping like crazy. And it's not even like shopping shopping, it's like makeup shopping. <laughs> um, I don't know why, I've just been getting bored and going out to like Sephora, Ulta, and even online shopping. But um, yeah, so I decided to do this video just because I bought so much makeup this month. Why not show you guys what I got and if you got some of the products, maybe you can tell me how much you like them or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, before I do that, I want to let you know that I did take it out here. I took it out only because I needed a relaxer really, really bad. And so I got my relaxer, so I'm happy. And I'm going to be asking you for help in, like, two, my next two videos on what I should do next. But, um, yeah, let me get into the haul. I went to, um, Sephora and got a couple of things. And I went to Ulta and got a couple of things. And, um, I also ordered something off of Sephora.com. And, um, got two, one or two things from Victoria's Secret. Um, I ordered from Eyes, Lip, Face, and Coastal Scents. So, I guess I'm going to start with, start off with my, what I bought from e.l.f. Just because they're, like, really cheap. <laughs> the first thing I bought was, um, this brush holder. I thought it was really cute and it has like three different compartments right here and right here. I'm looking for the um the little beads that I can put in here so that the brushes just stand straight up. But I'm not looking too hard. But um these are all my Sigma and MAC and Sonya Cool Chic brushes brushes that I have. Um another thing that I got from e.l.f. was another eyebrow. Hit because my old one was done for. Here's my old one. Hit pan. So I got another one of those. And I also got their eyelid primer. Um, here it is. And I used it once and it works pretty good. It only works really good when I use it with another base. And I'll show you what that base is in the next, um, through this video. <laughs> I also bought the Mineral Infused Face. Should I put it this way? Yeah. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And it has, it's really good compared to another one that I got from, um, Sephora. Here it is. Um, I'll just compare it to the Sephora one right now just so you can see the difference. <clears throat> now, I haven't used it that much to really, really compare it to my, um, Smashbox one that I did get from Sephora. But I'll just put it right next to each other. So this one right here is the Smashbox and this one is the, um, Eyes Lips Face. And this one's a little more clearer, and it feels a little more oily. And let me do this one with a different finger. And this one's a little more thicker. Kind of mixed it. But yeah, this one's a little more thicker, the Smashbox one. But they both kind of smell the same, but the e.l.f. one is a bit stronger, kind of. But it really doesn't really matter to me. But I'm um, back to the e.l.f. And I got these two eyelid liquid eyeliners I got the brown and I got black and if you're if you've known of elf for like a long time when they first started they had like a different brush it was like a sponge tip brush and I hated it because it was so fat and so when I ordered this one I was like oh wow they upgraded it I ordered a couple more things from there but honestly I don't even know where they are so just gonna let it go um, the second store that I ordered from was, uh, no, the second store that I went to was Alta. okay? If you don't know about Alta, it's basically a beauty store, too, just, like, they have a few high-end products and regular products, so it's, like, a mix in between both. And what I got from Alta, wait, I got more than this for two. I'm missing something. Hmm. Let me just check my receipt really quick. This isn't from there. Great. Okay, well, I can't find my receipt, but what I grabbed was 
NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil. And this color is, hmm, oh, 717 Irish Coffee. And this color is really cute. Look at that, and I'm just going to swatch it right here next to. And there it is. Really nice. I also got this lip gloss. And I'm not even a big lip gloss fan, but this one is like amazing. And where's the name on here? Oh, okay. It's called Sponge Cake. But this one, I don't know if you can see the glitters in it. It's really nice. I guess I'll put some on right now. It has an awesome smell to it, too. But yeah, I'm not really a lip gloss person because I hate the feel of my lips being tacky. But yeah, I like it. And the other thing I got was a NYX eyeshadow base. <clears throat> this one is just their regular white. And this stuff is amazing. All you need is like a little tap. You don't even need that much because it comes right off. But um, yeah, I use, um, when I'm doing my eyeshadows now, I use this as my primer. And then I use this as my base. So it's like a base and a primer. I mean, no, wait, a primer and a base. And it does an awesome job with keeping the color stay. Like, it reveals just like true color. And um, my color does last a little longer and it doesn't fade out. Another thing I got from Ulta was, this was probably the most expensive thing I got from there. And I this is the Gel Polish Pro Kit. And um, it's basically a UV light and it makes your nails look like gel. Once you put them under the light, let me see, I'll open it so everyone can see. I have used it once so far, but other than that, that's all. It comes with its own UV light, if I could get it out. Okay, yeah, It comes with a UV light, and you know, you stick your hands and do all that stuff, and it comes with everything you need, your base coat, um, your top coat, uh, your primer, and it also comes with some cuticle oil that smells really good, and it comes with one nail polish. But you really don't have to use the nail polish. All you have to use is the base coat and the top coat. So if you guys want to see me use this in a further video, just let me know. But it works pretty well, so. Okay, so. I'm going to do my Coastal Scents one last because, like, everyone loves Coastal Scents. So why don't we to that to do that last? Okay, so on to Sephora. Um, Sephora is a store that, uh, I just, I gotta stop myself from walking in there. Um, so yeah, to the primers. First I had tried out their little sample size primer. And I loved it so well. I didn't even wait for this to, like, become empty. And I got the full size one. And this is from Smashbox, and it's oil-free. And since I have oily skin, I was like, if my if my um primer is gonna be anything, it has to be oil-free. And it's like really amazing too. It gives you a nice silky base for your um foundation to get it nice and ready. Okay, another thing I got was the uh, Smashbox High Definition Foundation. It's just, um, it's darker than my complexion. So, like I said before, with foundations, I'm usually the right in between the medium to the dark. So, this was basically their dark. Yeah, dark. And so what I do, I mix this with my other foundation. I think it's my, it's either L'Oreal or Maybelline 24 Hour Stay. Because that's a little lighter. And so I mix this and it gives me the perfect combination. And keeps me nice and oil free. <clears throat> I also got their concealer. 
high definition concealer. Um, I'm not a big fan of it because it's not as thick as I thought it would be. It's really like liquidy. So, mm, I don't really use this this much. Another thing I got was the Smashbox Hydrating Perfecting Powder. I actually love this. This is actually a smaller size. They have a bigger size, but since it was my first time trying it, I had to go with the smaller size. And this is in dark. But it's not really dark. I wish I could kind of show you. It's not really dark. It's actually pretty light. Because, yeah, it's pretty light. Okay, and um, my other two concealers that I got were Sephora. I love these. These are perfect coverage concealers. Are these different ratings? No, they're not. And the colors I got were Tan 35 and Tan 40. This one is perfect for me. The Tan 40. But this is their darkest concealer shade. And so when I first bought it, I purchased this one, the Tan 35. And I noticed it was too light for me. So then I noticed when I bought this, it was perfect. But now I mix these two together and it gives me the perfect concealer shade. <clears throat> and I also got their Blue Nano Eyeliner. And it's really short. And it's five dollars. It's like four inches. Yes, basically four inches. But it swatches really, really nice. Let me see. Really nice. And it's like an electric blue. Okay, another thing I got was this duo lip gloss from Smashbox, and it is. that color this is like a shimmery color right here let me show you this and the other color is basically like a little nice plum color I, I, I love it it's a nice purple I'll swatch that so you can see it comes right off you don't need to put that much pressure either yeah I love this color um, and then I also got the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner and I usually use my Maybelline is it L'Oreal I think it's L'Oreal I usually use my um, L'Oreal but I can't find it right now so I bought the Limitless Black and I'm not a big fan of it I guess because it it takes a while to draw on and get it dark. Like I love for my um I love for my eyeliner to be dark like instantly. <clears throat> but until I find it, I'll be using that until it's gone. Um the other two things I got were this duo blush and it's in passion and shimmer and I also got this eyeshadow quad and I believe this is vanilla this is the golden pink this is the sable and this is the deep am amethyst yeah that's what I'm going And the last thing that I bought from Sephora, what I really needed, was this little Stippling Concealer Brush. Um, theirs just says anti -con airbrush concealer. And what I do with this is I use my two, um, my two foundations. I mix them on my palm. And usually I'll just go like that. And then I'll just tap it on my face. And it'll basically blend right into my face.